Hello, this video is on functions, specifically on the key features of a graph of a function, as shown here in the syllabus. There are several key features of a graph that you need to be able to identify. These are the intercepts, the vertices, the asymptotes and the symmetries. The intercepts are the points where a graph meets the axes. Where a graph meets the y-axis is called the y-intercept. And the point or points where a graph meets the x-axis are called the x-intercepts, as shown in the diagram. The x-intercepts are also called the zeros of the function, or the roots of the equation. The vertices are the points where a graph reaches a maximum or a minimum point and changes direction. For example, the points A and B are both vertices of the graph shown. The vertex A is a maximum point and the vertex B is a minimum point. The asymptotes are lines that a graph tends towards but never actually reaches. For example, on the diagram shown, the red line is a vertical asymptote and the green line is a horizontal asymptote. The equation of a vertical asymptote is x equals c, where c is the x-intercept of that line, and the equation of a horizontal asymptote is y equals d, where d is the y-intercept for that line. Symmetries are lines, usually vertical lines, that divide a graph into two identical halves. For example, in the diagram shown, the red line is a vertical line of symmetry. Most lines of symmetry will pass through a vertex as in the example shown here, or will be a vertical asymptote of the graph. And the equation of a vertical line of symmetry is x equals c, where c is the x-intercept for that line. We can use the calculator to draw a graph of a function to help identify its key features. To draw a graph of the function f, given, the, given in the example, from the main menu, select Graph, and then press F2, followed by F1, to delete any previous equation. Type in the equation into Y1, so that's 8, subtract 4, times 2, and then to the power of, negative, and pressing the X variable button and pressing execute to enter the equation. Pressing F6 to draw the graph. To find the Y intercept, we press F5 for G solve and then F4 for the Y intercept. So the Y intercept is 4. It has coordinates 0, 4. To find the x-intercept, again press F5, G solve, and this time press F1 for root. We see that the x-intercept is negative 1. It has coordinates negative 1, 0. As can be seen from the graph, the function has no vertices no maximum or minimum points. To find the horizontal asymptote, if we press F1, trace, and then press the right cursor repeatedly, we'll see that as X increases, Y approaches a value of 8. So the equation of the horizontal asymptote 
is y equals 8. To see if there is a vertical asymptote, from trace, if we press the left cursor repeatedly, we will see that as x decreases, the value of y also decreases. So there is no vertical asymptote. Also, as can be seen from the graph, the function has no lines of symmetry. In this question, to sketch the graph of the function given, we start by drawing the graph on the calculator. So if I press exit and scroll up, and press F2 and F1 to delete the previous equation, we can then type in this equation. So pressing a fraction, and then the x variable, take away 3, the down cursor, and the x variable, add 4, and pressing execute to enter the equation. Press in F6 to draw the graph of the equation. And finding the y and intercept by pressing F5 for G solve, followed by F4 for y intercept. So the y intercept is negative 0 0.75. To find the x intercept, Press F5 again, so G5 again, this time press F1 for the root. We see that the x intercept is 3. To find the horizontal asymptote, press F1 for trace and scroll right repeatedly to see what the y value approaches. As x increases, y approaches a value of 1, so the horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. To find the vertical asymptote, if from the main menu we select table, and then press F5 to set the table, and we could have a start value, let's say negative 10, into that, into 10. Okay. Pressing exit, and then F6 for table. And if we scroll down, we'll see at x equals negative 4, y is not defined. So the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 4. Then if we make a sketch showing all the key features, as shown. In part A of this question, we're asked to find the coordinate, coordinates of the vertex of the graph of the function. So again, if we start by drawing the function, Okay, so input x squared plus 4x take away 2. And draw that. And to find the vertex, if we press F5 for G solve, and then press F3 to find the minimum point. So the vertex has coordinates negative 2, comma, negative 6. In part B, to find the equation of the line of symmetry, looking at the graph, we see that the line of symmetry is vertical and it will pass through the vertex. So the equation of the line of symmetry is x equals negative 2. 